the New York Jets did everything they could to prevent Josh McCown from being their starting quarterback. They let him start the first preseason game. After one offensive series, which ended with a 53-yard touchdown pass to Robbie Anderson, the Jets handed the ball to Christian Hackenberg. The next time McCown touched a football in a game was opening day of the regular season after the Jets admitted they could not get Hackenberg or Bryce Petty to play at an NFL level. McCown got off to a slow NFL fantasy start, logging just 9.48 points on opening day. Jacksonville had a typical Jaguar day and held McCown under 5 points in Week 4. In between, he finished with some mediocre fantasy days before putting up 20-point games against the Patriots and Dolphins the past two weeks. The Jets quarterback holds the QB 13 ranking through Week 7 making him a potential by week streamer. If you took away the Jacksonville game, he would be the QB 9 in points per game. In the past four weeks, he is the overall QB 6. His 44 combined points the past two weeks is third best in the league. What's a guy gotta do to be a must start quarterback in this league? How he's done it? Many fantasy owners shrugged off McCown's 20 points against New England because. New England. It just proved anybody can throw against what was the worst NFL fantasy defense against quarterbacks. Miami, however came into last week's game averaging only 14 fantasy points to quarterbacks. In fact, they held McCown to exactly that in Week 3. McCown topped that by halftime Sunday. Only a boneheaded decision at the end of regulation that led to an interception kept him from topping 25 points. 